Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Good, I'm also doing good. Um, I would like to start with a quote. The divine trees and curative herbs appeared through yugas before the emergence of deities and billions of years before the origin of any other being. The divine manifested as trees, herbs, and plants at various places on the earth. These godly appearances were meant to destroy pain, suffering, ailments, and heal wounds of all living creatures. Without any discrimination between man and animal, these saintly trees and herbs have equally blessed all beings. The Rig Veda, an ancient Indian scripture written over 3,000 years ago, displays an understanding of nature's healing and curative powers and leads directly to the work I am being recognized for today, Hype Girls. I incubated Hype Girls, which stands for Hiking Youth Program for Equity Girls, during the summer of 2021. I was fortunate to attend a two-week rock climbing and backpacking Colorado Outward Bound school trip through the Rocky Mountains. At the time, I was coping with the traumatic experience of social exclusion as a girl of color attending a predominantly white school. Adding to the uncertainties of the COVID pandemic, I had lost most of my self-confidence. On the Outward Bound trip, I found that nature was there for guidance and support. The longer I spent immersed in the outdoors, the more I began to appreciate nature as a form of healing. Slowly, I harnessed the strength nature gave me and found a way forward. Upon my return, I kept my experiences as a source of motivation. I continued to traverse the outdoors, but found myself in the minority as a girl of color. I explored the topic of diversity in hiking and was alarmed at the findings on the systematic disparities that disadvantage people of color from outdoor experiences. Additionally, I wanted to focus on the intersection between nature and our mental health, an area where teenage girls of color face unique challenges. As I contacted women leaders of local hiking groups around me and my program coordinator at Outward Bound, Ms. Jackie Kusain, I began Hype Girls, an idea that sprouted from a summer trip has grown into something meaningful in just over two years. One particular incident comes to mind that I believe captures the essence of hype. On a hike in the fall, we had a new member, a 14-year-old African-American girl. She suddenly stepped back, and I could sense her fear and hesitation. Afterward, it was apparent that she feared the woods despite never personally having had a bad experience. There was trauma, and the field of epigenetics is now confirming this. She felt much safer by talking about it and feeling the group's support. In the summer of 2022, I traveled to Tanzania with my father and successfully summited Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest freestanding mountain in the world. As I stood on the roof of Africa, quite literally, I felt overcome with pride. It inspired me to hold on to my passion for hype and to persevere in my efforts. While change is a process, the impact will come one person at a time. The Brower Youth Award is a great recognition that I am on the right path and I'm energized to normalize outdoor adventures for historically marginalized groups, have them benefit from interacting with nature and provide a sense of community and connection. One hike at a time, Hype Girls leads to a focus on preserving and protecting our environment. I also wanna say a huge thank you to the Earth Island Institute for having us, as well as the fellow awardees, and Mona Shamali and Susanna Lee for coordinating an amazing week. Thank you very much.